Good evening. Uh, I call the meeting to the City Council to order for today, April 8th. Please rise and let's all salute our great American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, if you just remain standing. Council Fowler. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may, sir. Mr. President and colleagues, I'd like to ask for a moment of silence on behalf of Arnold Greenblatt, a resident of Brockton who ran for office many times. He ran in the <coughs> primary election in which I was elected in 1991. I'd like to say about Arnold that he was one of those individuals who firmly believed in the best of Brockton. He took the time away from his business to run. It is a commitment, as we all know, and I was truly honored to be able to listen to what he had to say, learn from him, and after I was elected, we still communicated back and forth on several issues of interest to him. So if we could have a moment of silence, and I know a member of the family is here this evening as well. Thank you, Mr. President. May he rest in peace. Mr. President, just before we all sit, if everybody could remain standing, I'd just like to have a moment of personal privilege so that we can also remember a firefighter uh, that worked for the fire department for many, many years, retired as a lieutenant, and that's for George Churchill, who just passed away two days ago. Wow. Um, and I happen to say that uh, I saw George just two weeks ago at um, Frida's restaurant on Tuesday night, um, it's 10 buck Tuesday, and I'm there since I'm 65 and over. Um, and he uh, said to me, he said, uh, you look good, you look the same. I said, I'm just getting older. He says, we all get older. And that just it just sort of hit me tonight. But I do want to re recall, um, he served um, as a firefighter in this city for a good, good many years, very good friend of, of so many people. He also served as a member of the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School School Committee um, for a good many years as well. So. Um, respect to his family and uh, of, of course to to him um, he's going to be he's going to be missed very much uh, as well so just a moment of silence for him thank you mr president mr Thank president you. rest in peace i hate to uh, b add bad news comes in threes but i'd like to ask for a moment of silence you may sir uh, dick lewis who served the uh, city for many years on the brockton housing authority yes. he was the chairman of the board when i became a board member there he uh, shepherded me through some a learning curve and uh, served the people of brockton quietly and in a such a nice manner for many years and passed away and was buried this morning I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for dick Thank you. May he also rest yeah. in peace. Yes. Uh, anything else, counselors? <coughs> Mr. Clerk, it's item good. number one. We have the acceptance of the minutes of the March 25th, 2019 council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Statement <laughs> of Wayne A. Lake, 56 Short Street, Brockton, Mass., as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Refer to the Committee on Finance. The appointment of Gene Rohde would no. Southfield Drive, Brockton, as a constable city of Brockton for a term of three years. That too will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Of Clarence Hassan, 14 Ridge Avenue, Brockton, to the planning board for a five-year term. That too will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 1st, 2019. That will be accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Executive Director of Parking Authority requesting that the City Council transfer the total appropriation in the amount of $25,727 from Parking Authority Personal Services other than overtime, <coughs> $21,030 in Parking Authority Snow Removal, $4,697 to Parking Authority Purchase of Services. Funds will be used to cover shortfalls in electricity costs and lease payments for the parking spaces needed to displace patrons who are on the site of the new garage for the remainder of the fiscal year, further to cover the repairs to the Adams garage and replacing multiple meters which have been damaged. 
That will be accepted and placed on file. The mayor recommends the same. That too will be accepted and she placed on file. Is relative to the same. And also accepted and placed we on file. We have a total appropriation of $20,000 from information technology full time to information technology over time. In council, March 25th, 2019. Ready to refer the standing committee on finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Asak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Prune? Yes. Darancourt? Yes. Neering? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. A total grant award in the amount of $174,189.43 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs, Physical 19 Formula Grant, the City of Brockton Council on Aging, Physical 19 Formula Grant Fund, and Council March 25th, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Yes. Darancourt? Yes. Keeneary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative? The order is adopted. Acceptance and expenditure of the total grant funds in the amount of $6,240.03 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division. Fiscal 19 Traffic Enforcement and Equipment Grant Program, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 19 Traffic Enforcement and Equipment Grant Program. In Council, March 25th, 2019. Reading refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darancourt? Yes. Keeneary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monahan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Acceptance and expenditures of additional grant funds and the amount of $98,938 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, <coughs> Fiscal 19 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 19 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund, in Council, March 25th, 2019. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darancourt? Yes. Keeneary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered that the common necessity and the convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Cypress Drive, extending from Rockland Street, easterly and northerly, a distance of about 1,402 feet, more or less. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. That will be referred to finance and planning. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Rock Metal Drive, extending from Rockland Street easterly, a distance of about 1,200 feet more or less, and from Rock Metal Drive northerly, a distance of about 310 feet more or less. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a <coughs> public street or way of city of said city of Brockton. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance and Planning. Ordered a copy of all legal documents executed between the city <clears throat> and the Brockton 21st Century Corporation related to the transfer of control for these properties to the city and the outstanding promissory note signed by the corporation be provided to the City Council, A, number one, a summary of all outstanding contractual agreements, outstanding invoices for services of goods, and any liability which was the responsibility of the Brockton 21st Century Corporation and which may now be incurred by the city be provided to the city council. Two, if payments from the public funds have been made for change charges formally required of the corporation, such information shall be provided to the city council. Three, 
documents and information requested shall be provided within 14 days of the date of this order. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. A number 16 ordered the oh. caption above it should be on that council agenda, just above the language of the order, should, should state the Russell Lopez case. And that is that the law department provide copies of all decisions issued by any court for appeals filed by the city or the plaintiff and copies of any pending appeals, motions or other filings submitted to that pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 21, an executive session be scheduled to discuss the continued pending litigation in the Lopes case and related information. Three, that a complete up-to-date summary of all funds expended by the city in this litigation be provided to the city council. With respect to the documents requested, they shall be provided to members of the council no later than 14 days after the date of this order. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. We have a total appropriation of $25,727 from the Parking Authority Personal Services, other than overtime, $21,030, and Parking Authority Snow Removal, $4,697, to Parking Authority Purchase of Services. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. We have a resolve to invite Patricia Monteef to the Brockton representative for the Mass Memories Roadshow to be held at the Brockton Public Library on Saturday, May 18, 2019, to inform the public and the City Council as to how to participate in this one-time only opportunity to preserve the Brock Brockton history. That too will be referred to the Committee on Finance. We resolve to invite Steve Grossman, CEO and ICIC initiative for a competitive inner city or his designee to inform the public and city council of this new program and how individuals in this city could take advantage of this economic development opportunity. <coughs> that too will be referred to the Committee on Finance. All items on this agenda are available in their entirety in the city clerk's office for all interested parties. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, councilors, I know we have a couple late files. Uh, Councilor Yanieri. If I might, Mr. Mr. President, I'd like to motion to accept the late file. Second. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Please and proceed. the clerk has the late file. The Brave Act? Yes, please. <coughs> the late file is a communication from the mayor requesting the city council accept Mass General Laws, Chapter 33, Section 59, in relations to the Brave Act. That will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Okay. Oh, is that, that was the communication? Yeah, these two communications. All right, well, accepted yeah. and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying acceptations of Mass General Laws, Chapter 33, Section 59, in relation to the BRAVE Act. Accepted and placed on file. Ordered that Mass General Laws, Chapter 33, Subsection 59, be accepted by the City Council. Said section of general laws is relative to public employees not to lose pay or services in the armed forces. Paragraph A, B, C, D, E, and F, which counselors you have received in its entirety, also known as the BRAVE Act. Now this will be referred Beautiful. to hey. finance. <laughs> I know it will get there sometime. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing uh, counselors, fine. Uh, anything else? Councillor Azak. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. Okay. This past weekend at the Big Apple Music Festival in New York, uh, in New York, Brockton High School's wind ensemble brought home the gold well, as the be? grand champions. Yeah. Congratulations to all the students, their director, Mr. Macrina, and the Band Boosters Association for making it possible. This past weekend as well, Brockton High School's concert choir performed at the Micah Choral Festival so under the direction of Matt Cunningham and they also brought home gold for their uh, performance. I just want to let them all know we're so very proud of them. We have a bunch of talented uh, students, amazing directors and uh, teachers, and a, a really great parents that support them. Thank you. Um, and another moment of personal privilege, on, besides the art, it's, um, this Saturday, April 13th, is Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. And as everybody knows, every year it's the biggest cleanup day for the city of Brockton. So um, it's April 13th, registration starts from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. at Heights Crossing, <laughs> which is 27 Christie's Place. 
Everyone gets a free t-shirt and a cookout at 12 noon after the cleanup is done. Uh, we're looking for a lot of volunteers. You can contact the recycling department, uh, Pat at the recycling department at 508-580-7827 or the mayor's office to get more information. But I hope uh, people will take advantage of this, come out and help us really make Brockton beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, uh, two moments of personal privilege, please. You may, sir. Just to kind of follow up uh, on Councilor Azak, um, Brockton High School Drama Club uh, just <coughs> prevailed. They're the state champions at the Massachusetts uh, Drama Festival in Boston. And uh, I want to uh, thank uh, Bob Hogan, who's the director, Carol Thomas, the assistant, and Elaine Kelly, and more importantly, the boys and girls. Uh, because in 1988, I went to the States and we lost. So I know those kids are having a great, great time. So uh, kudos to them. And then getting back to business relative to the Ordinance Committee, uh, originally last week I announced it would be May 1st here at 6 o'clock. It will be a week later, May 8th, Wednesday, May 8th, 6 p.m. here in the Chamber for the Ordinance Committee. There will be one agenda item. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Councillor. Councillor Nicastro, followed thank by you. Borgard. Thank you, Mr. President. Good evening. And I just want to let everyone know that on this Wednesday, April 11th at 5 p.m., the City Council Real Estate Committee will meet in the committee room here on the second floor of City Hall. We have three matters on the agenda, and all are welcome to attend this meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Borgard. Thank you, Mr. President. I have, to have two things myself. Um, I'm wondering, like many others, where's our new website? It's Just, coming. Okay. Well, so are a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Actually, Councillor, you yeah. know, there's an individual in this body that's holding the whole thing up. Really? He's sitting between Councillor Azak and Councillor Fowell. <laughs> I'm not going to name names, but that's okay. who, uh, who's right. kind of holding it up. Okay, thank you. And the other, if, if I might comment, um, as, as many of you are, are glad that you live in the freest nation in the world, and though uh, it's not perfect, we're very grateful that such a group exists as the ACLU. But I must say that this weekend I was extremely disappointed to see this quote because I am very grateful that our colleagues and as a council we passed a panhandling ordinance. And let's just say that the situation of those that are challenged financially and otherwise is a world problem, a, a, a nation problem, a state problem, and a community problem. Mm -hmm. And it just seems that, no, the city uh, has its quota and much more when it comes to affordable housing. And I believe um, that uh, everyone needs to look back, and I just hope that um, the, the quote in the, from the ACLU representative uh, to revisit that. No, it's everybody else that needs to cut to the table and start addressing uh, the affordable housing situation and other uh, needs because we are the only city in Plymouth County and we are doing a remarkable job, but it's time for other people to step up because this is larger than all of us and uh, we want people to be safe that go to the ATM machines. We want people to be able to drive down the streets in this city and not be accosted by individuals pounding on the door of the windows of their cars asking for funding. And uh, thank you again, Council, for supporting such an ordinance and I hope that uh, we'll be able to resolve this issue to make it better for the businesses and those that reside in this community. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, any anybody else? Councillor Moynihan. <laughs> Moment of personal privilege. You may, sir. Uh, again, I wanted to announce. I hope one of those moments will be I'm going to go take a picture for the <laughs> website. <laughs> they can't get a good one. Anyway, um, th next Thursday at April 18th at 6 p.m., I will be having a ward meeting at George's Cafe. We're going to have the mayor, the police chief, city planner, uh, school committee woman uh, Lisa Plant. So it'll be a full agenda. So it's next <laughs> Thursday, the 18th at 6 p.m. George's Cafe, and there will be pizzas served, so come on down. I adjourn the meeting.